Drop a like on this video within the next five seconds or Ronnie 2 k is going to personally go into your game and make you never shoot a green again. I wouldn't risk it. What is up, guys? It's your boy, Badge Plug, and today I got for you the best builds in NBA 2K20 at every single position in the game. Point guard, shooting guard, small forward, power forward, and center, okay? So, I always give you guys some insane like gold that we usually hit like a week after I tell you, you know, 10,000, 15,000 likes, but if you guys want me to show you every single one of these builds, how to make them the best way possible i want to make this very soon get this video to 5,000 likes within 24 hours everyone watching this video you're seeing it right now all you gotta do is click the like button and i got you guys okay so we're gonna get straight into it man and we're also gonna have some runner ups in the middle or at the end all right so we all know the best point guard build in nba 2k20 by the way if you guys do not agree with me let me know down below in the comment section and we can have a discussion about this. I'd love to see what you guys have to say. But the best point guard build in the game, y'all, is the two-way slashing playmaker, okay? Around six foot five, 185 pounds. You know, it gets 11 finishing, it gets 10 shooting, 20 playmaking, and 20 defense. That's around 61 badges, depending on how you make the build, okay? It gets contact dunks, both of them. At 84, you get regular contact dunks, and at 85, driving dunk rating, you get the elite contact dunks that pure slashers and stuff have. So you're basically like a pure slasher, right? And you can speed boost, and once you max the build out, even if you don't want to max the build out, but I'm talking about if you have it like near 99 overall, you have mid to high 80s in defense some of them are in the 90s okay with hall of fame playmaking badges and hall of fame defensive badges the build is literally the most overpowered build in nba 2k20 because it has close to like a 73 point rating so if you can use those 10 shooting badges which a lot of youtubers have showed this year you know you only need close to 10 shooting badges to shoot mm -mm, like perfectly efficiently you know what i'm saying if you can do that with hot spots jump shot boost you've already got hall of fame defensive badges 20 of them things so you're basically a pure lockdown 20 hall of fame playmaking badges so you're running and you're moving at the fastest speed possible in the game you're around 99 speed and you also get contact dunks with just enough badges like contact finisher giant slayer slithery finisher to be basically a pure slasher if you use the build right so 99 speed coming in hopping down you know hops are broken this year best build in the game by far in terms of just how much it can do okay so the shooting guard build best build in nba 2k20 guys i have as the facilitating finisher around six foot seven 188 pounds 81.9 wingspan it gets 10 finishing 10 shooting 18 playmaking and 18 defense now as i've tried to tell you guys this year the more you go up in the height almost every single build in the game which we'll have one that's a little bit different from what i'm saying almost every single build in the game has less badges less badges so this is basically like a two-way slashing playmaker just with a little bit less badges and the two hall of fame badge categories are also a little bit different so every build on this list don't look guys don't even try and put a build in the comment section that doesn't have two Hall of Fame badge categories, okay? No build in this game can possibly be in a best builds list if it doesn't have two Hall of Fame badges in the categories, okay? Because we all know badges is the most important thing in NBA 2K20, okay? If you guys haven't seen my 60 overall legend video versus a 99 with no badges, I literally lost that game by one point, okay? It's very, very huge difference from badges to attributes in nba 2k20 all right so the build it can speed boost after around two buckets depending on how you make it it gets contact dunks low to mid 80s in defense 97 speed and acceleration as well as hall of fame playmaking and hall of fame defense okay so i was wrong about the defense the the badges and the categories being different from the two-way slash playmaker but it's hall of fame playmaking and hall of fame defense we all know hall of fame shooting is not needed okay it is 100% not needed. It's been proved a million times. Like Joe Nose is out here shooting with a 49 three-pointer and greening them things, okay? So it's really about the user that makes the build how it is. Now, if you guys want me to do a top best builds for every position most overpowered, like the easiest builds to get on and just dominate right away, get this video to 10,000 likes and I got you guys, okay? So these small forward 
best build in nba 2k20 by the way the shooting guard facilitating finisher is an extremely good build i could not think of a better build at the shooting guard especially because there's literally like no shooting guard builds this year like almost everyone makes a point guard or a small forward no one really makes a shooting guard so that shooting guard build is actually one of the best builds in the game but anyway the number three or the small forward build is the facilitating finisher again but this build is a lot different this is the joe knows lebron james facilitating finisher it gets 22 finishing hall of fame 13 shooting 25 playmaking and one defensive badge at six foot seven the only weakness is that it has one defensive badge but if you're running the build at the one like it's designed to be i mean you could run it at the two or at the two on the threes court but it's basically a one build a point guard build because the build is literally lebron james it can do what lebron james does facilitate and finish now the build can shoot it does have a low three-pointer but if you're good at shooting that's what makes the build so so good okay because it gets hall of fame finishing so it's literally like a pure slashing build and at the end it can also shoot once you get the hot spots once you get the jump shot boost you're going to be smacking threes if you know how to shoot on this build now it can shoot perfect it has around 13 shooting badges which is beautiful okay contact dunks can use tier two dribbling and can even speed boost depending on how you make it also you can play with someone that has floor general if you want to run the ball at the two if you want to have the build at the two you can definitely speed boost with this build once you get it close to max out depending on how you make it and guys two hall of fame badge categories i always tell you man like i've been saying no build in this game can be a best build if it doesn't have two hall of fame badge categories it just cannot be okay guys and it has two hall of fame badges and it's finishing and playmaking so the one weakness is the defense okay the one weakness is the defense so i will give a runner up for this build the offense minded wing the build that i just posted like a day or two ago you guys can go check it out in my top three best small forward builds man beautiful build or the point forward it's basically the same thing except except for the badges are just a little bit spread out okay so but if you really want the defense on that build offensive minded wing is going to get around 10 to 11 defensive badges okay so the number four or the power forward best build in the game now this is a very very close so this one's also going to have a runner up but i have the playmaking glass cleaner now if you guys don't know about this build i mean it just absolutely blew up i'm talking about the dude who made it nut his videos got 200,000 views he had i don't even think he had a I, that, I think that was his first video on youtube and he got 200k views man like the the build just blew up like two or three months into the game it's got one finishing 10 shooting 17 playmaking and 20 hall of fame defensive badges at six foot eight is where you would usually want to make it then the thing about the build is man it can guard one through five okay that's what's so special about the build because if you come up against even a post score this build should be able to play against some of the best in the game now i'm not saying you know these seven foot three dudes that just you know that they're literally pure post scoring builds know exactly what to do but 99 percent of people you come up against with a playmaking glass cleaner you should be able to lock down because it gets 20 hall of fame defensive badges and 17 hall of fame playmaking so at six foot eight you've got hall of fame quick first step that's what's also so good about this uh facilitating finisher is these builds they're a little bit lower in the speed but they have hall of fame quick first step which is a huge game changer in this game okay the only weakness is it gets one finishing badge okay but it gets around an 80 driving dunk so it's gonna get those nice little driving dunks when you got space and after the 70 driving dunk rating you get park dunks so you can be able to do crazy dunks on this build once you get it maxed out now the only runner up i have for that is the post playmaker if you guys don't know who your boy tonio is he's got a very nice post playmaker if you want to go check it out but the last build in the video the center the glass cleaning lockdown has 12 finishing badges 17 shooting one playmaking and 20 defense now once you get into the center position there's no reason to have hall of fame playmaking you know what i'm saying because this build is not a tier two dribbler it's not a speed boost it can finish it can play excellent defense and can shoot at six foot 11 you're getting park dunks okay so if you got a little bit of space you are a center driving down and getting those park dunks all right now 
The crazy thing about it is Hall of Fame defense and Hall of Fame shooting. So at the center position, there's no need, obviously, to have Hall of Fame playmaking unless you put like an actual speed boosting center build. But we're talking about center builds. You know what I'm saying? You can make easily a small forward or a power forward if you want a big speed boosting build. There's basically no reason to make a center speed boosting build, but maybe that's for another video, guys. So if you enjoyed the video, guys, make sure to drop a like for me, okay? Hit that subscribe button if you're new. I think the reason why people really like these videos and watch them so much is because this took me two to three hours to come up with five builds i'm talking about i looked up every single build it took a lot of thinking i wrote down all the stats for you guys the badges the hall of fame categories the extras like getting contact dunks getting park dunks all that type of stuff man make sure to drop a like hit that subscribe button if you're new it's your boy badge plug you've been plugged in and i'm out peace